Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Mr. Cheap Sense here. This is a hat that was given to me by a subscriber. I'm sorry, my friend, if I don't remember your name. It's been a while since I wore this hat. Um, I had to dig it out my closet. Uh, when my son came to stay with me for a little while, uh, things got shuffled around, and uh, I found it a couple of days ago. I was digging through the closet, and um, I'm going to start wearing it again. As you see, I have it on now. But um, happy New Year's to everybody. It's a new day. A new decade has started. I am so glad that all the stuff that I've been through the past decade is, I mean, it was already in the past after it happened. But I'm meaning like the whole decade was just, to me, even though I had some ups, I was in a very, very dark place, almost like the sunken place, if you've ever seen the movie Get Out. Um, but this is a new day, new age, a new decade. Um, and it was kind of, I don't know the word I can call it. Um, last night, I got a message from the exact person that I've been telling y'all about, that chick that like damn near destroyed my whole entire life. She messaged me last night just to say happy new years. And um, I, at first I wasn't going to respond back. Like I always do. I just ignore her when she, whenever she messages me uh, to stay away from her. But something in my soul told me to just go ahead and say it. So I only thing I said was same to you in the discussion, the new year ushered in and I'm good. I'm cleansed of everything that's that, that has happened in the past you know, few days and the decade period. I'm done with all of that crap. Whatever happened the past few days, it is what it is. Now, if somebody keeps doing what they're doing and shooting subliminals, trust me, I don't mind. I don't have nothing to lose. Like I said, my past is out there. I've already said what I had to say. It is what it is. People can continue to do what they continue to do. They keep pushing, keep prodding and poking. It is what it is. But as of now, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm going on about my day and about my life. Leave me alone. Second of all, I want to say this before I go any further. Also, I saw in the comment section somewhere that somebody said that um, Ross Carlos's channel TLTG was the one that was involved in the, the mess that was going on recently. Ross Carlos TLTG had nothing to do with anything that I said in my video. That was not it. Yes, TLTG, and it's been stated several times, used to belong to Dwayne Bridendorf. And he gave it to Ross or however that situation went. Ross Carlos from TLTG had absolutely nothing to do with what was going on. Yes, his name was mentioned by this other individual in their video a while back. But when I mentioned Ross and George Zaharoff and all these other people, Matt and all of them, it was because I was in defense mode of these people in that video and what this individual did. So now that that's out of the way, over and done with, leave Ross Carlos and all of these other people out of that situation. They had nothing to do with this. Now, second of all, I know a lot of people probably weren't too happy with the way I handled the situation too damn bad. It's my channel, it's my life, and if I feel like I'm being attacked just because y'all want to sit back and sit on y'all hands or sit with your thumbs up your ass and ignore it and let people uh, slander your name and your channels and all this stuff, that's what you choose to do. And I'm a start, I respect that. Me personally, I've never never really been the type of dude that's gonna sit back and just let people pop off at the mouth and I ain't gonna do nothing about it. You got me sadly mistaken. And if you don't believe me, you can try me yourself and see what happens. There's a lot of people who have my address that sent me fragrances. If you don't like the way I do something or, or how I talk, you know where I stay at, pull up. Simple as that. I'm not a violent individual, but trust me, I am not finna sit back and allow people 
to slander me or try to make me look bad over some stuff that I did not do just because somebody had a, like a, a bad assumption or a wrong assumption about what happened. Be a man, step up to the plate, talk to me like a man, and we can handle any situation. It is what it is. Uh, I may lose some subscribers behind what I, how I handle things or how I've done things. So be it. It is what it is. I, I'm not in this business to really and truly make friends. I got into this because I was in a bad situation in my life and this is what actually saved my life and made, gave me an outlet to get all of my frustration and my anger out. I've said this several times over. So if anybody don't like it and they wanna leave, that's your choice. It is what it is. Like I said before, if this stops today, I wouldn't care. Simple as that. With that being out of the way, um, my boy Trey, since if you're not subscribed to his channel, please go over and check out his channel. That's his name, Trey Sense. Um, check out his content. If his content is what speaks to you, if you like his content, subscribe to the man's channel. I'm not going to tell anybody to go to anybody's channel and just, just blindly subscribe. And then you watching the videos and be like, oh, I don't like this dude. And then you unsubscribe. Don't be a punk and do no junk like that. Go over, look at some of his videos, his content. If you like what you see, if you like this dude attitude, he's cool, calm, collective, he's laid back, subscribe to the channel. If not, ain't neither one of us gonna really give two bleeps about it. It is what it is. Um, but he did a video a few days ago and he tagged me and this other individual that I don't even care to mention his name anymore. Um, he tagged me, this other individual, and somebody else, I can't remember who it was. I never still haven't seen the video, but we have talked about it. And he made a video talking about um, wearing an old school fragrance and reviewing it. And I don't think I've worn this one since I've had it, but I really didn't want to usher in the new year wearing something um, like this. But I guess no time is better than the right, than, how the hell you say it? No time is better like the present or something like that, whatever. Um, I ended up picking this one out. I have several other ones I could have went with, but I think I did a review on the other one. But this one is Quorum. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about this fragrance. You probably have seen this box before. You can find it at Ross. Um, I haven't seen it at Marshall's or TJ Maxx, but I know Ross carries it. Um, you may be able to find it there. Online, you can find it. It's very inexpensive. I think this runs $14.99 is what I got it from Ross. It's kind of hard to see. $14.99. Um, just a classic old school fragrance, basic box. It's like brown and gold looking, nothing spectacular. The bottle is kind of nice. It's old school looking, but I, I like the design of it. it says Quorum Eau de, Par, uh, Eau de Toilette. Um, this is a hundred ml bottle. 3.4 ounces. It says it has 85% um, percent volume. I guess that's what that's supposed to stand for. On the bottom, it's actually etched into the glass. You have, uh, it says made in Spain. Antonio Puig. And it also says Barcelona at the bottom. Whatever the hell that means. But um, the top on it is plastic. Nothing special. Old school type atomizer. Does a, a decent mist. It's not a bad scent. Most people aren't going to like a lot of old school scents because they're like real loud and harsh and abrasive. This one isn't that loud. Um, it does. You can tell it's old schoolish. Like it was. I don't know when this was made but you can tell it was probably made in like the 70s or you know the 60s or something like that it's, it's old school i'm not exactly sure don't quote me on that i'm just saying that's how it smells like it was made back in the older days um 
It's not bad. I don't I don't mind wearing it. I do have it on. I did seven sprays. I did one on the back of the neck, one behind each ear, one on each wrist, and one on each inner elbow. So yes, I did seven sprays. And for those of you who have worn this fragrance before and know about it, they're going to be like, God dang, man, seven sprays? And people say that to me all the time when I tell them I do seven sprays or more. Y'all just don't understand. Sometimes these fragrances just don't perform like you think they do or like they used to. And it just is what it is, man. I haven't gotten any bad um, people telling me that I got on too much. Even that chick at the job, I said it uh, not too long ago when I sprayed on too much of something else. And somebody said the same thing. If she doesn't tell me that I'm too loud or something like that, then it's not loud. That's my barometer when it comes to fragrances. If I go to work and this chick doesn't tell me that I got on too much because she, she, it never fails. She always says something, but if she doesn't, then it's, it's not too much. So it is what it is, man. I, I really don't care. I'm going to do what I want to do. It's my fragrance. It's my body. If I want to put on 67 sprays of this, that's what the hell I'm going to do. So it is what it is. Um, I'm not going to tell people to run out and buy this unless you are into older fragrances that seem to want to last better than some of this new age stuff that's out uh, where you only get like three, four or five hours out of something. And people do complain a lot about the performance on these newer age fragrances, these freshies and all this other stuff that's coming out that don't last that long. If we recommend some of these old school fragrances, you guys still ain't going to want to get them because I've heard a lot of people go out and say, after we do review, oh, I don't like that fragrance. I can't wear something like that. I don't want that. I want the new stuff. And like, okay, dude, like it is what it is. You don't have to get butt hurt behind it just because you don't want to wear it. Um, It is what it is. I understand. I get it. For me, this is not a bad fragrance. I don't reach for this much. Um, there aren't many times that I could think of that I could wear this, maybe the church or something like that. But, um, I think I will start being that this is a new year dabbling into doing things outside the box. So I may start wearing some more of these old school type fragrances, um, just for, you know, my own sake and see what happens. Um, one last thing I want to say also. In the comment section, I noticed a lot of times we have instances where we agree to disagree or sometimes we can't dis we somebody can't disagree without the other person getting upset about it. If I say that a fragrance lasted on me six, seven, eight hours, but off of you, you only get 30 minutes to an hour or whatever out of it and you state that that's fine. I don't have no problem with that. But if I'm telling you after you said what you said and then I come back and I say, okay, well, for me, it still lasted eight hours. Um, so, you know, sometimes this body chemistry is, you know, whatever, whatever you moisturizing and then you get butt hurt behind it and you come back with another statement saying something a little bit more harsh or aggressive. Don't do that. Cause it's only going to cause problems. It's not that serious. If you don't like something, just say you don't like it and that's fine. It is what it is. If something doesn't last on you, then fine. I I, I respect your opinion. Th that's your opinion. But for me, it doesn't matter. If I say, if you say in the comment section that something gave you 28 hours of longevity and then I come back and I say, well, I only got 30 minutes to an hour, then that's my prerogative. So... It is what it is. We can agree to disagree and that's it. We don't have to argue about it. It's not that serious, especially for me. It's not that serious. So anyway, y'all, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you all are having a great new year or great start of the new year. Um, we want to be drama free. We don't want to bring all, any of that old crap into the new year. I hate that I had to address what I addressed in the beginning of this video, but I just wanted to clarify that none of the people that I was so-called defending, like Ross Carlos and all of them, um, they had nothing to do with my video and what I had going on at the moment with this individual. 
to me, it's over and done with. I don't care as long as people don't be, you know, doing whatever they're doing and doing subliminals and, you know, making these videos because you can best believe if you make one, I'm going to make one. So with that being said, I'm out of here, y'all. I got something to do. Um, my hat, man. I'm loving this hat. Uh, I do have it pulled down kind of far, but when I had it up, it was kind of dented in right here and you couldn't see everything, but um, for the most part, I'm about to go out and do something real quick. Um, I have a few things to, to take care of and uh, maybe I'll do another video later. Me and uh, Georgia Gent, Matt, was supposed to do something. Maybe we can get up later and do it. Uh, but right now I have some things to take care of. That's more important than, you know, doing a whole bunch of videos today. So that's actually why I'm in the car right now doing this video. I'm on the go. So I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. Oh, damn. I forgot my signature thing. Here's to smelling great. And now I'm out. Peace.